Hey guys, it's me. Um, yeah, I just did my Ipsy. Same thing. Same here. It's just a little more quiet. Um, if you're just catching this video and you didn't catch the Ipsy mole removal, it's healing. It's okay. It's all good. Don't need any commentary or anything like that. I know what it looks like. It's good. It's good. Okay, we got it. It's healing. It will be okay. I'm 51. There's more than this on my face. So, <laughs> anyway, that's why I don't have makeup on today. I'm letting some air get there. And I haven't filmed a whole lot in the last couple of weeks because I was sick. So, I figure it would take just a few minutes and kind of film a little bit and play around. Um, on National Lash Day, <laughs> I had plans that just did not happen. Because I, got, I went to my mother's house and packed my bag and I had planned on doing a little something with mascara of course with the epic from unique and lo and behold I got there it was not in my bag I did not put it in there so yeah <laughs> um, so yeah I'm dropping my, my blender. Guys, let me know in the comments. This is my second Real Techniques blender after quite some time. And it's fallen apart already. And I've had it for not even a month. I've used it maybe three or four times. Are you having that happen? Before when I used them, it didn't happen. So let me know if that's just something. If I just got a couple of bad batches or... Um, if I need to just bump up and use the Beauty Blender. Um, unpacking, this is the only palette that I took with me. Was the Unique Moodstruck Beloved palette. And it worked out great because you know, I, I took my Unique foundation with me. I put foundation on yesterday um, just very softly. I use this for blush, um, which is alluring. Alluring, wah! One day in the mountains and I can't talk. And then, you know, I used um, Adored on my eyes, used Alluring on my eyes, and used Unwavering, a little bit of highlight, and I mean, we were out the door. I didn't do, I just clean, you know, cleaned my eyebrows up. I didn't put anything on them. Um, obviously, since I forgot to pack mascara, didn't... Um, didn't put any on. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it was that worked that I did that worked really well yesterday. I didn't even put a setting spray. I just used the the pressed foundation in velour. Bear with me, guys. Apparently, I'm either going to have a migraine or vertigo. I started with vertigo earlier this morning. Thought I was going to beat it, but apparently I'm having so much trouble speaking that that must be what's getting ready to happen. Because, um, you know, I get I, I stumble over words sometimes, but when it's to this point, it's generally a symptom of something's fixing to happen. Um, if you don't have migraine and you know someone that does, whenever, or, or vertigo, and they're not talking properly, fix them a bed. They're getting sick. <laughs> send them to a safe place um, and I'm not saying that to be ugly I'm telling you that to be true to be real with you um, I literally packed like maybe four brushes um, if you watch my ipsy video um, there was a shooting last night about the time I got home um, which flipped me out to no end because I know these people um, I grew up, I grew up there even whenever it wasn't my family's home my mom and dad's home it was the family you know it was my grandparents and known these people for years and years and years um, it was an isolated incident um, and it's just sad so um, kind of remember that community because you know we all know each other we all grew up together um, it's it's scary it, it, on one hand, but it's more sad on the other because 
um, the specifics, which I can't get into just now, and the dynamics of the situation. It's just sad. Um, it's just one of those moments um, when I got home. Um, it, I mean, it literally, as we were getting in the house and unpacking things, um, it, it literally happened right about the same time that we got to Lexington, which that in itself, my little control freak brain, because I think I can fix everything if I'm there. <laughs> I know. I can't. I know. Um, but the first thing that shoots through my mind is, I knew I shouldn't have left. <laughs> it's like, I need to be with mom, you know. But, you know, she... She handles herself better than I ever handle me, so I don't know why I think that I need to fix everything. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, that was the fun that is going on in our world now. Um, we're waiting on um, the rest of, and it's, you know, like I said, it's just a sad, sad situation. So remember, keep that in your prayers, the community. Um, the person that was shot is in stable condition. Um, was He was med flighted out. Um, pretty sure to UT. I can't rem I'm not exactly 100% sure. Um, but um, there was other stuff that I was going to tell you, but that just kind of just, that prefaces everything. You know, we don't, we don't know we don't know what's going to happen, what we're going to face. And I know, I'm not trying to make light of anything that's happened nationally. Um, our children deserve better um, protection when they go to school. Um, all the way around the board. Not just, um, you know, I was a child that was bullied, so to speak. Um, more so in a younger in my younger grades and like first grade and stuff like that and you know when I told the teacher it it bordered, it bordered on sexual harassment actually I just didn't know at that point in time that that's what was really happening um it was dismissed because the little boy supposedly had a crush on me no you know it still wasn't right um so I know just how and 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 what happened to me was not it was nothing compared to what some children go through even children that I went to school with it was nothing compared to what they had to go through um, and it we our children deserve better from us um, you know I on one hand am very glad to see the children po protesting um, on the other hand I'm very disappointed that we have allowed it to have to be their job and I'm not throwing punches I'm not throwing anything at any politician um, it's us it, it takes a village to raise a child it's totally it's not the NRA it's not the Republican Party it's not the Democratic Party it's not the liberals it's us as a nation, as a society, we have let our children down. We have stopped raising them. Um, we have stopped doing the things that we need to do to protect them. And we, the things that we need, that they need to be able to do to protect themselves. We've stopped being um, accountable. Um, and, and whenever I say, well, you don't, don't shoot my comments full of, well, you know, you're generalizing everybody, and no, I'm not. Um, I did the best that I knew how to when I raised my daughter, but I didn't do the best job that I could have done. And we are all like that because we learn every day. You know, if we don't, if we don't continually learn how to do things, or you know, different things, different ways to handle situations, if we don't constantly learn new things then no you're not doing the best you can and that's just my thought of the day i'm going to i didn't really intend to go quite that far I meant to do this last week but as you know i was sick still not completely well but we're going to go i ordered the bad gal lash from benefit now 
If you remember, I used a Benefit product not long ago. I think it was the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I did not like it. Now, it's 10 minutes into the video. Um, if you need a timestamp, somebody at 10 and 10, this is when we would do this. Um, I'm going to test this out. I'm just going to put a coat on because, as you can see, my eyes are dark. I'm not priming. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to give it a quick test. I like that noise that I just heard. Because that tells me that there's a wand cleaner. This is the wand. I'm sure by now that you've probably seen videos. Um, I'm going to pull my mirror a little bit closer because I'm doing it in my camera. It's just not a good plan. And we're just going to see. I actually want to compare it toe to toe with Epic, but my Epic is not handy. Okay, as an actual first impression, um, it's a drier formula than, than the other one that I tried, and just pulling it out and using it, I don't use an eyelash curler. I quit using one years ago. With Epic, I don't have to, um, but my lashes tend to hold a curl, tend to curl up anyway. So, Just kind of a first impressions. I mean, look, no false lashes, no primer, no nothing. This is what I got. Very little, and whew, when I get close like that, that's kind of scary. I'm sorry, guys. Um, just it's not a good skin day when you put acid on your face. Things happen, and I did. I got rid of a mole. Um, so it's it'll be okay um, try it on the crazy eyelash oh my goodness it is absolutely Twitter is blowing up uh, with U of L and NCAA My personal thoughts on that is that it's a whole sad situation all the way around. A lot of wrong was done, and a lot of people are taking the fall for it that had nothing to do with it, and are being punished for it, and it's affecting a whole college program, and it's sad. But it also, you know, the Bible says that which is done in the dark will be shown in the light. I'm living proof. My secrets come out. So, um, yeah, as a, there you go. Thought for the day. Um, back to the bad gal. Um, not overly impressed with it. Um, we'll give it a little bit of wear. It's already kind of like my eyes are kind of eh, itchy already feeling we'll give it a little bit of time and see and then I'll come back and you know this is just a first impression I'm gonna use it a little bit more because you know sometimes when you first open a product and you first get that out you don't really get the full effect so I will use it again and I will do a side by side with epic um, just see and I'll do an application where I use this 
this came in one of my boxes last month, one of my subscription boxes, and I absolutely have fallen in love with it. It's the Lancome, um, booster, lash booster, and it is, it's this little white stuff. I bought, I have a whole tube that I bought because generally whenever I love a product instantly, I buy it. And so, um, and it works great with Epic. It works great with, um, the other mascaras that I've tried it with. Um, so we'll do that too, but I just wanted to hop on to a real quick first impressions, talk with you a little bit. Um, uh, bear with me as we grow this channel um there's going to be some things that are good there's going to be some things that are not good some days you'll see me like this with no makeup and you know kind of looking peaked um and then you know we'll do get ready with me's like we have in the past but um it's as real as it, i can get it um i'm going to be learning how to edit i'm going to be learning more things um, to do with my videos um, based on just a friend of mine I wish or just a friend of my mother's I wish I could have her as my production person <laughs> she done a tribute video for our, our family um, for my just my sister my mother and myself um, for my uh, my dad and it blew me away it was awesome. It was, uh, it, it just, yeah, there were tears. I don't want to test this mascara that, to see if it's waterproof, that tear cry proof. Um, but it was, there. part of it was um, the natural grieving, missing dad. And the other part of the emotion was just simply, wow, somebody cares enough about my family um, to do something this to take the time because it, it took a lot of time to do this for us and that gratitude it was just like it just blew me away it was like wow amazing and I'm so thankful and I know that you all probably may get tired of seeing me get all teary-eyed when I talk about my dad, um, or randomly, if you knew him, you'd understand. So, anyway, we're going to stop this before it gets even worse. <laughs> this is my first impression. Um, I'm not, I don't see the height just yet, but like I said, I'm going to give it a couple of more tries and see, uh, you know, add some makeup and see how it goes with that. Um, personally for my lashes, it didn't do a whole lot, you know, so we'll go, we'll test it some more side by side with Epic. Um, I don't, whenever I don't feel well, you'll notice that I scratch my, it's part of getting, when I'm getting sick. So, you know, I don't have fleas or anything horrible like that. Um, it just is what it is. Uh... And yes, you're witnessing pretty much the onset of either a migraine or Meniere's, so bear with me. Or vertigo. I'm thinking vertigo because it's feeling more like that. And sometimes both of them hit at the same time. So we're hoping we get through this day. Um, thank you oh so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I will description timestamp when I actually do the lashes um but you know and today's not a good day because my eyes are itching and burning um don't know again you know it's 80 degrees or supposed to be 80 degrees today you know it was saturday it was freezing welcome to kentucky <laughs> have a good day remember i am the mayor's daughter love you all so much thanks for supporting my channel thanks for coming by okay i'm back sorry about that allergies I'm assuming since it's gonna be 80 degrees today on and I got lotion in my eye so you know had my eye was just itching and burning I had to stop the camera and do something with that the last thing and I think this is pretty um, I don't usually usually I don't use the shadows that come in here but I, this is 
the mask foiled again. It's a, a glitter pigment. And we played with these on Valentine's Day. I think it was, might have been after Valentine's Day. Um, just a touch out in my hand. These are very, very pretty. We will be using these mostly on my daughter. Um, trying not to make a big mess, but it's a softer, buildable pigment. You can see more on the inside of my hand then. I know that's an odd place to put a swatch. It just happened that way. But it shears out incredibly. I, we were playing the other night. I put it on Jessica's arms. And it's like, yeah, that's just too cool. That It's just really, it's just, I mean, you can, I don't know if I can catch. Just the glittery, the light catches it really great. And I like it. So, and that's one that is going on the shelf to be actually used. Like it's normally... I don't get a whole lot of use out of the eyeshadows because, well, you know, I have so much other product. And um, that's just not something that I usually pass those on to somebody. But this one will be sticking around because we like them glitter in my house. Uh, see, and that is basically my Ipsy um, bag for this month. If I were... Yeah, I got everything. The, this is the bag. This is, it's a cute little bag. It's not quite my cup of tea, but that's okay. I will tell you what I do with these bags. Again, excuse me. My nose, y'all know when I turn the camera on, my nose runs, so that's just where that is. Um, I, again, I don't have makeup on because my skin is healing and I wore makeup. Um... Sunday and Monday I wore a, deep, a very heavy full face makeup because at that point this was black and you know it was really bad looking in people. I was going out around people um, but for today I'm just keeping it letting air get to it to fin let it allow it to finish healing because the scab fell off this morning. Yay! That's, it's just amazing how this process works. Now if you're going to do the apple cider vinegar thing Make sure that the mold that you have is a mold, that it's not a cancer, you know, something like that. I knew this one was not. This uh, this one, I, it's been with me since the beginning. <laughs> it's been there for several years. I just finally braved up and decided to try to get rid of it after I've removed another mold. Um, anyway, back to the Ipsy bag. If you decide that you're going to, or what I do with my Ipsy bags, and I mean, you know, you get a bag every month. Um, I have four nieces. Actually, I have five, but I have four that actively that I can put, you know, just product that is their age range in. So for Christmas or for their birthdays, I use these bags and I'll put their, you know, put little lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff like that. And that's either part of their Christmas or it is their Christmas, depending upon what's in the bag. Um, and you can put gift certificates and stuff like that in there. And the girls love the bags. I thought of another thing that I can do with these, which is what I will, I'm going to start doing as soon as I can get it set up. It, this is would be great to donate to someone in, um, a, a woman in a domestic violence center, um, shelter, um, someone coming out of rehab, um, with, you know, with the samples that, of product that you don't use, you know, make sure they're sealed and stuff, you know, we don't want to be gross. Or even if you just went to, say, Walmart or something like that and got a good, you know, a good brand of makeup, to donate to them when they're coming out, you know, because it, makeup makes us all feel better. So, you know, it's just an ideal, and it's one that I'm going to start doing, um, in between figuring out how I'm going to get back and forth to Bell County and keep up my filming and keep up my business and keep up everything else, this is something else that I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm going to close this video because I need to film another one real quick. And he's quiet now.
go figure. I would apologize for the background noise in the video, but I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to. Um, I welcome you into my world. I'm glad that you're here, but my grandson is here too, and I'm not going to apologize for him playing with his toys. I'm just not. Um, as he gets older, you know, it'll get better, but right now, he's just little, and I'm going to love every minute of it, and I hope that when you hear the background noise that you realize how much happiness it brings me, and I hope it brings you some joy too. Um, I talked last night, uh, gonna hush, gonna do that in here in just a minute. Um, the remember guys, I am the mayor's daughter. I'm still unpacking my things to sort them back out. Um, so we'll do that and I will catch you later. Have a great day. I'm the mayor's daughter. I'll see you. Bye.